This is our smallest sump pan. And its most unique feature, like all of our sump pans, is its depth. You can see from this close-up that all of our pans have a depth of over two and a half inches. Mounting the roof drain into the sump pan could not be easier. All you do is you take your roof drain and you set it in the bottom of the roof drain pan. Then you drill four holes through the pan using the holes in the roof drain as a guide. Your next step is put a bolt through each one of the holes that you've just drilled. Screw a nut on the bolt from the bottom and secure each one of them tightly to the pan. This sump pan and the roof drain is intended to be completely sealed over with roofing material. Now I'm going to remove this part which is called a membrane clamp so that I can explain how that's supposed to happen. This is a membrane clamp. The way this works is if this piece of paper represents roofing material, the roofing material is brought down into the drain and it's sandwiched between the clamp and the body of the drain. The bolts are then reinstalled which makes the watertight seal between the roofing and the drain here. This step must be done by a qualified roofing contractor. The final step, take the leaf grate and this will also pro probably be done by your roofing contractor. Install your leaf grate and there you have a roof drain that sits two inches below the deck which is what makes this a unique product and which will allow your flat roof to actually drain away the rainwater. The fact that this roof drain being completely installed is still two inches below the roof deck is the single factor that makes this system so effective in draining away the standing rainwater off of your flat roof.